good morrow and welcome to communist history. It's disreputable history. No, it's not. It's actually conservative and liberal united history. And waffle makers. Anti feminism women lovers. Chicken nuggets. McDonald's. Alright, I don't even know what we're talking about today. Today we are going to be talking about the history of Russia. Why? Bum, bum, bum. Because in sixth grade, we had a unit on it, and I remember a lot about what it. What was that, six months ago? Screw you, I'm in the eighth grade now. I'm a big boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm 13. Just talk about your shit so I can go. Okay. Away. So there are these dudes. Uh, well, not all dudes. Um, There are these people, and they came over to this area, and they're just like, heck yeah, let's populate this area. And Stop this area was called Russia. Hands. I like moving my hands, sir. Yeah, get so in the way of the camera. They eventually had leaders, and they were called the Czars, named after the Roman Caesars. Okay, so, you know, abbreviations and such. Well, a lot of things happened. I'm pretty sure one of them was named Peter the Great. Don't remember a lot about them. Dude, but Peter the Great, like, was called the greatest because he literally invented the middle class, made the military so much better, got mm-hmm. a navy, westernized Russia, made a warm seaport, so, Peter oh, the Great... <laughs> that look means stop it, this is my video. <laughs> so, Peter the Great, he decided that he wanted to westernize Russia. And in order to westernize Russia... What? I just covered that. There's more to there's more to it, sir. In Obviously, order to westernize Russia... You just said you don't know a lot about it. I now just, that I gave you a I just needed summary. the name. Oh my goodness, I just needed the name. Okay, oh, I forgot God. the name. Okay, in order to westernize Russia, he needed a city that was able to... Trade Saint with Petersburg England and Europe. Saint Petersburg. So he made the city of Saint, Saint Petersburg. Petersburg. But in order to make a city of Saint Petersburg, it took a lot of manual labor. Saint so there's this people. They were people, and they were really angry because he was treating his citizens bad in order to build the city, and it took a lot and a lot of work. So eventually, this dude, his name was John Lennon. <laughs> There was, this t- Ow. there was this dude named Vladimir Lenin. He was just like, yo, what if... Communism. Communism. So he was just like, yo, I'm going to take over this country, be a savage. And he was just like, now everyone's a communist. What did you do? I did nothing. Hello? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Literally nobody watches this. True that. Um. So... He decided to make communism, and he, well, I mean communism in Russia, he had set up the new government called the USSR, United Soviet Socialist Republic, to... How do you know that? And he gave, he made everything, like, cool. Well, people, that went on for a while, until his successor was named Stalin. Joseph Stalin. Joseph Stalin. And he had a homosexual relationship with Adolf Hitler. That, that is, is 100% That is not fact. true. <laughs> Literally go on Wattpad. It's 100% fact. So during World War II, I mean, yeah, during World War II, the USSR, the USSR joined the Allies. And Germany. And Ger- not Germany. Mm-hmm. Germany was part of the Axis to fight off the Axis. And oh. that's what they want you to think. To fight off the Axis. They were going through a rough patch in their marriage. And at the end, the Allies ended up winning. Yeah, Russia but helped us But at the World end War of World War II, the yeah. Allies were just like, oh, France. It was uh, America, Russia, England, France. So they decided that they needed to split up the territories of, you know, the countries that they lost the war and Germany had taken over and, you know, help them out until they got back up on their feet. So the countries in the Allies split up the land equally. So Germ- um, Russia got parts of Germany in different places. So the split between... Oh, sorry. Russia, well, America and England and stuff, they wanted... To, they helped out and, you know, made things back as to the way there were. But Russia decided to make all of the countries that it had dominion over into communists. So they they captured half of Germany, made it communist, and built the Berlin Wall in Berlin. Okay? And then in Atomic Blonde, John Goodman and that one hot chick took down the wall with John F. Kennedy. Watch <laughs> the movie. Okay. So after a while, 
Russia had influenced most of the countries on its side of the Iron Curtain. It's called the Berlin Wall. Don't no, 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 no. That's a different thing. So its side of the world, kind of. No its general area. No one loves you. Okay, then. Uh, so after a while, so Stalin... Stalin, you know, died, and his the new leader of the USSR was Mikhail Gorbachev. Now, Gorbachev... I thought was, this was the history of Russia, not the history of communism. Get back into... This is Russia. What? Oh. <laughs> You've slipped into the history of communism, which you told me you would never do a video about, so... Okay, Mikhail Gorbachev. So he was more of a reasonable person, and he decided to give more rights to the Russian citizens, such as freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Eventually, I forgot which president was at the time, but he was just like, Mr. Gorbachev, take down this wall. Kennedy, what the it was hell Kennedy. is it wrong was Kennedy. with you? It was Kennedy. Pretty Are sure. you even an American? <laughs> so, so, Mr. so eventually, the, the Berlin Wall was taken down. This goes into the Cold War. I'm shutting off the video. And... Russia, uh, the USR, USSR became a democracy called Russia again. This is not the history of Russia. This is his, the history of Russia starting with communism. No, it started with the czars. It's still not the history. Okay, okay. fine. Whatever. And after that, uh, there were some tensions between America and Russia called the Cold War. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What do you mean, oh my god? It's not a video about the Cold War, it's a video about Russia. We've already cleared what the hell was going on with Russia. Russia's part of the Cold War. Yeah, no shit, but like... Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, eventually Gorbachev died, and his successor... I mean, uh, never mind. So, yeah, the Cold War happened, and there was tension between the U.S. and Russia. There was the space race going on. There were nukes. There were, they both had nukes, and they were afraid of mutually assured destruction. Then... Vladimir Putin came out, and he was just like, yo, I'm president now. That is a very large gap between the Cold War and the... <laughs> okay, and then now we have present day. Adi. This is why I was so hesitant to let him make this stupid video. Bye. Have a wonderful day.